In this video, we'll be taking a look at integration services. Let's start with packages. Packages are self-contained folders that contain everything related to the application you've created. They are portable, which means that they can be imported, exported, and uploaded to remote servers. Creating applications is done by putting together low-code micro-integration services, which are created using Gloop, a visual declarative language for integrations, data management, and APIs. Gloop consists of two key components, Gloop models and Gloop services. Gloop models, much like Java objects, contain properties such as strings, integers, dates, booleans, other Gloop models, and so on. Gloop services, on the other hand, are executable logic in Gloop, which are structured similarly to Java methods in that they have inputs, outputs, and a body where the logic is defined. A Gloop services body may consist of Gloop steps such as forks and maps, and one-liners such as this logger method, which logs the provided message to the console. And when there is a need for coded logic, it can be done through the use of Groovy scripts or Gloovy steps, such as this. Gloop services are reusable and can be used as steps in other Gloop services. Take this Lend Money service for example. Instead of arbitrarily deciding whether to lend money to a customer or not, we will use a pre-made service from another package to check for the customer's credit score before lending the money. This can be done simply by dragging the service as a Gloop step, mapping the necessary inputs, removing the unnecessary steps, and then you're done. That concludes the contents of this video. Watch the tutorial on data management to learn how to manage the data associated with your integration services.